Hello, Merry Christmas and welcome to another episode of Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part one of the lesson on integration by substitution and in this video I'm just going to be taking you through a first example. Okay, so here we go then, integration by substitution. Uh, we're being asked to use the substitution u equals 2x plus 1 to find the integral of x, 2x plus 1 to the power of 6. Uh, with respect to x. So the purpose of integration by substitution is to take something that's difficult to integrate it, manipulate it so that it's something more straightforward, and then integrate that instead. Um, so that's what we're going to look at doing here now. So you can probably see how the substitution u equals 2x plus 1 is the same as what we have here. So we can replace this bit with u, um, and then you can probably see um, easily how if we were to rearrange this to be in terms of x, we would have u minus 1 over 2. So we could change this integral. So instead of x, we have u minus 1 over 2, put that in brackets, and instead of 2x plus 1, we have u, and that would be to the power of 6. But the issue that we've got here is that it's with respect to x. And all of this is in terms of u. Now, this little bit that comes on the end of an integral, um, often we ignore it because as long as it's the same as what we've got there, it's fine. But that is the key thing. This is telling us what we're integrating with respect to. So we cannot integrate in terms of u if this says dx. So we need to alter this so that we can integrate in terms of u. And the way that we're going to do that um, is we're going to start with what we've got for u, which is 2x plus 1, and we're going to differentiate it to get du dx equals 2. Um, and what that means then is that I can write that as dx du equals a half, and I can therefore write that dx is equal to a half du. Now there'll be mathematicians watching this going mad because that isn't actually what you're doing. It's fudge, but it works for the purpose of integration by substitution. So for now, we're just going to go with it. Because what this now means is, instead of writing dx in our integral here, we can write a half du. And then we have everything in terms of u, and we can integrate in terms of u. So let's just think about what that's going to look like then. We're going to have the integral of u minus 1 over 2 multiplied by u to the power of 6. And then that's going to be multiplied by, instead of dx, a half du. And this du now tells us that we're integrating uh, in terms of u. So, let's just tidy this up a little bit. So, I've got a half times a half here, which is going to be a quarter. That would make my bracket u minus 1, u to the power of 6 with respect to u. So, if I expand all this out, taking care, it's going to be 1 quarter u to the power of 7 minus 1 quarter u to the power of 6, I'm going to put that in a bracket now, with respect to u. And this is just polynomial integration. I can integrate this by adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. And that is the point of integration by substitution. It's to start with something that's difficult to integrate, use a substitution to make it something that's more straightforward to integrate. So what we're going to get then is 1 over 32 u to the power of 8. So that's adding 1 and dividing by the 8, uh, minus 1 over 28 u to the power of 7, and then not forgetting the plus 6, we've got no limits on this um, integration at the moment. Now, because this is not definite integration, we're just being asked to find an integral, what we would now need to do is to put it back in terms of the original variable, which was x, so we need to go back to our original substitution of u equals 2x plus 1 and replace u in this result with 2x plus 1. So the result of integrating is 
is going to be 1 over 32, 2x plus 1 to the power of 8, minus 1 over 28, 2x plus 1 to the power of 7, plus C. And that is the result in terms of x. Join me in the next video where we'll look at doing one where there are limits, so we're doing definite integration. I'll see you then.